So it was set up some years ago to deal with the issues of armed robbery and violent, um, violent crime. Then as time goes on, um, they began to realize that most of the officers started um, overreaching themselves and using disproportionate force, you know, to um, handle cases. And then it became worse when there was really no accountability. And then everything came um, to a head uh, last year when uh, the people protested against SAS and asked for the disbandment of the unit. But uh, presently the unit has been disbanded and then um, the, the, of the, the, the officers have been posted to other police units. And the fallout from that, yes, it is true that we had um, national protests across the country um, concerning uh, what was said to be in many quarters the high handedness of that special force of the Nigerian police. Government has responded through a number of means. That uh, uh, special force, special anti robbery squad, as it's called, has been disbanded. That that disbandment took immediate uh, effect. Um, uh, a number of panels um, across the country has been set up to investigate this complaint. Rawa has uh, a history um, with SAS. There is um, a project we implement uh, with the support of the Swiss and um, GIZ and it's called Police Human Rights Training. Um, we did um, a major, like a holistic police training for all police officers. So we, we, we were able to do um, capacity buildings for these officers in Lagos State and in the federal capital, that's Abuja. And um, from our interactions, we realized that if we can continue to build their capacity, it will be easier for them to you know, um, to abide by the, 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 their rules of engagement and to use less of torture.